such positive times for the club and so many exciting moments between the players and the, the fans as well. Um, I, I guess I have to kind of move it to a little bit more of a negative or yeah. frustrating point in the in the club's uh, history, which I'm sure has been spoken about many times. But I think it was felt beyond Leeds as well. I mean, um, obviously I'm from London, I'm a Spurs fan, but it, it was sad to see because a lot of fans just loved what Leeds were yeah. doing and were supporting them for the country on, on the nights in Europe as well. What, what happened in the club's demise? What was going on behind the scenes? Um, O'Leary going, Venables coming in, Ridsdale. What did you see that we don't know that, that was going yeah. on? I think financially they made some bad decisions. We all know that's kind of been highlighted. Um, I, th I don't think we know to what extent really because... I can only speak from my point of view and what I earned and what I kind of, the life I kind of lived and the, the contracts that I've done with Leeds. And they're always very easy to do for me. I was very, I'm a very simple guy, as everyone knows. It's like, here's a contract. Do you want that? I'll sign it. There you go. I'm off. I'm done. You know, and I know other people in, in the Leeds, that, that area where there was a bit of money flying around, let's be honest. Did some players, did some... Did some um, um, what's the word? Agents and stuff exploit that slightly. I honestly don't know the the individuals or what went on, but for me, there was a lot of strange signings at that point. I know there were just sometimes some things are done spur of the moment because you have to get players in to get deals done to get because you're struggling as a club, and that's why it kind of felt. But for me, once it felt like. Everyone was earning good wages, good, and, and the club was doing well. Then all of a sudden, people were still getting big contracts when things were going a little bit wrong. And for me, that doesn't really work. You, you know, when when the success is there, or you're playing well, or the club's in Champions League, or you're you know in the top three or four, you know, then go and do what you want, make the big signing. But when you when it's the other way around, it reverses on you. Mm. That's when you've got to go. Hold on a minute. You know, maybe I need to get rid of the flash car out of the garage and maybe start doing things right. Because I, I, I did. I, had, you know, I had, we all had, you know, decent cars at that point and stuff. So I felt embarrassed when we we're doing badly to, to actually drive a nice car or do or, or go out sometimes because it's not quite the same feeling. I didn't like doing things like that if things were going bad for the club. I always felt like it was the wrong thing to do. And I think there's a bit of that going on and a bit where. We didn't really know who was in charge. That's the, that's the brutally honest. You know, when it got when David left, it was kind of like with a few years of wilderness where all these managers are coming in. We don't really know who's in charge, what to do. Uh, and Eddie Gray, to, to refer to him, had to pick up with everything. And he still he still probably does to this day at time when he needs to. And he always does willingly. Mm. Um, so we always had someone like Eddie. But it was, it was, it was a lot of pressure for him, you know, to, to, to try and look after all of us, at, you know, at times and, you know, different managers were coming in and I'm thinking to myself, we're going from David O'Leary, a brilliant, bright young manager, and then other people coming in just to do jobs, just to maybe keep us up or do... And that's not really the Leeds way of doing stuff. If you look at the managers we've had, you know, Howard Wilkinson, you know, George Graham, David O'Leary, and then you go, I'm mean, no disrespect, you know, there was then you go to, um, to Blackwell and people like that. Blackie's a good lad and he's still working with, um, I think he's a, He's at uh, Middlesbrough now, isn't he, working with uh, Warnock? You know, so it must have been hard for these guys who were coming in taking over because they didn't have the, the same quality of players around the squad, so they probably had to adapt. You know, that's why lots of us left at that point because they told me they couldn't pay my wages. I didn't believe that for a second because mm -hmm. I knew I wasn't earning what some of the other players were earning at that point. So I didn't believe that, but they still had to, they wanted to let me go because they probably knew that they could sell me. Um, and, you know... That's that's what they did, you know, and I always feel I always felt a bit good about that because I tried to stay, but at that point it'd gone too far. And we just the tipping point, as they say, we'd gone past that, and it was just we were we we're on a road and we just couldn't buy a win, couldn't get it, couldn't. It just when that form goes like that, it, it's it's so tough. Um, relegations are, is horrible, and being around that was the toughest point of my career, and being from Leeds as well. And seeing like even that Leeds fan as a young boy, they always show that only that that picture, the young kid with his top off, you know, like crying after you know at, at Bolton when we when we went down. 
that was that was heartbreaking for me. And it's good to see that I think they showed pictures of that lad years later when Leeds did get promoted back into the Premier League. And I've always felt guilty all my, all my career yeah. till Leeds have got promoted back to the Premier League because I was responsible. I was part of that team. I was part of that group. Um, and I don't mind saying that because we were all responsible. You all have to, you know, we were all involved in the lads who, the lads who maybe didn't put a shift in. Um, maybe some people might say myself, but that's the way it was. And we, we, we just lost the, that kind of, um, the kind, I suppose it's kind of, we lost our way. We mm -hmm. lost our way and it was hard to find it back. And, and how many years did it take us to get it back? What, 16 years? Is it's too long for a club like Leeds, you know. You, I mean, that club is, is is a lot bigger than what everyone thinks. You know, people don't realise how big that club is. They're a massive club, and uh, thankfully we're back where we belong. But it was a, it was a tough few years for the club at that point.